game number 11 for Ken Waldachuk and technically start number 10 for Ken Waldachuk. Well, Tuve will lead things off. Swung on and miss. A breaking ball down and in, and that's the way our ball game begins. And that'll bring up Pena. Now the 3-2 pitch is a ground ball left side. Taken at third, one step to his left by Jace Peterson. He throws the first for the out and two away. That'll bring up Jordan Alvarez. Alvarez in his last four games is 0 for 9. And he hits this ball high. He hits this ball deep. Four. Get about it. Number 44 puts the Astros in front one to nothing on a blast to right. His seventh career home run here in the Coliseum. 104 off the bat, 409 foot bomb. One nothing Houston in the first. And your pitcher for this afternoon's game is going to be Christian Javier. Ten starts. So he'll face Ryan Noda, who is batting leadoff for the first time in his career. That one hit the deep right field, just looking up is McCormick, and it is gone. What a shot from Noda, and it's one to one. And the A's have the answer with Noda in a leadoff home run in the bottom of the first. It is one, Houston one. Rooker is out, and that'll bring up Seth Brown. There's a Line driving to right field for a base hit for Brown. So Brown ropes a base hit to right over Altuve's head. And that'll bring up Langoliers. Hunter goes, got a good jump, pitches high, throw to second, not nearly in time. Great jump for Seth Brown. Picks up the stolen base. That ball's hit pretty decently to center field, sending Myers back, but he'll have room and puts it away. Three fly outs to center, but in between, a single and a leadoff home run. It's 1 1. Luis Medina takes over. So Jokes is at first on the walk. He's on with one out for Yiner Diaz, getting a start behind the plate today. Might be two. Allen to Kemp. On to Noda. They get the double play, and the inning is over. We're through an inning and a half, still one to one. Peterson works a walk. So with two out in the second, he's aboard. Nick Allen coming up. Peterson goes. The pitch is strike. The throw to second goes into center field. So Peterson is going to get to third. The stolen base, E2. And for Peterson, that's his fifth stolen base in six attempts. Ripped a hole in them pants. Playing hard, baby. 3-2 to Nick. Swung on and missed. He elevated. And he picks up his second strikeout. We're through two. Still one to one. Runners at first and second with one out for Jeremy Pena. Timer violation. That'll walk Jeremy Pena and load up the bases. A 3-1 timer violation on Luis Medina as the bases will be filled for your Don Alvarez. Two grand slams already on the season with the bases full. Goes after the first one, taps it back to the mound. Medina underhands it to home and the throw to first. That's a double play. That's the last thing you expected with Jordan Alvarez batting with the bases full, but Medina throws a pitch that gets a double play ground out to end the inning. Astros won, A's won. It's the top of the order for Oakland against Christian Javier, beginning with Ryan Noda, who hit a homer his first time up, their leadoff man. 3-1, that's hit to right center and hit well. And that ball's going to hit the base of the wall, and Noda digging for two. He's in the second with a double. Have a day. And that is the second out. Langoliers, the batter, flew out to center his last time up. First pitch is popped up. Looks like Pena has a beat on it. He's three steps into the outfield grass behind the shortstop position puts it away with two hands and that'll do it for Oakland in the third a leadoff double that's it we'll go to the fourth inning Astros one and the A's one two outs nobody on one one ball game and that's a shot through the left side of the infield base hit Jolks has reached twice he's had a good series so a two out single and, and that'll bring uh, Geiner Diaz to the plate dribbler up along third Peterson Bare hands throws to first too late. So an infield single for Yiner Diaz. Well, this is all that Jace Peterson can do. Come in, try to field it bare hand, field it cleanly. And that'll bring up Jake Myers with two men on. Medina, the second pitcher for Oakland. He came in after the opener. Waldachuk hasn't given up a run yet, but in jeopardy here. It's a 1-1 game. See if Jake can find a pitch to his liking here. Sends the ball high, sends the ball deep. Seth Brown all the way back. He'll watch it go. Three run home run, Jake Myers, and the Astros take a four to one lead. Home run number four on the year for Jake. Jake packed the rake. Here's Kemp. Kemp grounded out his last time up. Ground ball towards Altuve's right. He'll backflip it to Pena. The bare hand and the turn. Altuve 
never used his hand. Pena never used his glove, and they turned two. One out of no one on for Nick Allen, who struck out in the second. This ball hit pretty well to left field. Corey Jolts going all the way back. He's at the track. He's near the wall. He jumps into the wall and makes the catch. Corey was reaching for that wall, and he found it as he made the catch and crashed into it for out number two. Four to one, Astros lead in Oakland, bottom of the six. Two away, and that'll bring up Laureano. I think he might have hit him. He did. He got Laureano. So Laureano able to pitch. That will bring the tying run to home plate. And Tony Kemp, Diaz will pinch hit for Kemp here. So two on, two out. That one hit into left field for a base hit. Counting third base and holding there is Langoliers. Not going to test jolts there. The bases are loaded now for the A's with two outs. So again, Diaz coming through. Here's Peterson, lefty on lefty. Is have the bases loaded as he swings line drive caught by the shortstop Pena and the inning is over unlucky they leave three and after six it's still a four to one Houston one out now for McCormick McCormick has walked and struck out so far McCormick hits the ball high in the air pretty deep to right field sending Loriano back Loriano looks up that ball's gone Chaz McCormick going out to right field like he normally does a solo home run that makes it a 5-1 game and snaps Chaz is 0 for 16. Do we have another one Altuve makes a bid to left field that ball's gone back to back Jacks Chaz McCormick and Jose Altuve with his first home run of 2023 and the Astros lead this game 6-1. One out no one on for Jose Abreu. No one has more plate appearances in the big leagues this year without a home run than this man, Abreu. Abreu hits one high in the air, deep to left field, all the way back. Brown, he's near the wall. He jumps, that's gone! There you go! Jose Abreu's first home run is an Astro, and he's sprinting around the bases like he has never hit one before. He is going to fly into home plate, and the Astros lead 7-1. to one. He can't wait to celebrate. Look at this crew. They love this guy. This is awesome. <laughs> they were all out of the dugout waiting for Jose Abreu. He couldn't wait to get back in there and be embraced by his new team. His last home run, September 13th of last year, hits his first as an Astro, and it's his fastest time around the bases ever after a home run. <laughs> oh, you got to love the game of baseball. He's on with one out for Pena, who is 0 for 3 with a walk. Astros leading 7 to 1, the 1 0. And Pena hits it in the air pretty deep to left center. Going back on it is Blade at the wall, and that ball is gone. Home run number six for the Astros today. All nine runs via the home run as Pena hits his second two run home run in as many days. Now you're not. Sends one high, sends one deep. 15th multi home run game of his career. The big man started the home run barrage, and now he caps it off with the Astros' seventh home run of the day. They've reached double figures as 10 to 1. The A's are down to their final out. 2-2 two -two count to number nine hitter Nick Allen, who is one for three today. And sends this ball to right field, and that should do it. Chaz McCormick will put it away. Chaz had one of the franchise records tying seven home runs today. The Astros had two from Jordan Alvarez. Abreu hit his first. Chaz got one. Jake Myers got one. Jose Altuve got one. Jeremy Pena got one. Blummer, that was a big 10-1 victory for the offense.